This is rubbish. I, I, again, I like all the content. I like everything that's there. We, we're going to be describing, following, creating algorithms, looking at sequences of steps. We're investigating numbers, including odd and even, which I think is a very minor point. And the multiples of two, three, five, and 10, fantastic. Use computational thinking, yes, please. To recognize, describe, and explain emerging patterns, yes, that's all good. Where's the recall of number facts? Students are being asked to recognize and explain patterns. Presumably we are allowed to explore patterns. We can find patterns. We can discover patterns in basic addition facts up to 10 plus 10. Here's a point you could have stopped at nine, but anyway, up to 10 plus 10 and related subtraction facts. So we're looking at patterns. We're investigating patterns. We're looking at patterns. We're explaining patterns. And then we've got to extend and apply these patterns to develop efficient mental strategies. It's almost memorization for computation with larger numbers. It sounds pretty good, except no one's being asked to memorize anything. So no one's being asked to recall anything. There's no recalling of number facts. We're exploring patterns. We're applying patterns. We're developing efficient mental strategies. These are all good things, but no recall and no memorization. Here's my view. We're not, I'm not proposing that anybody go back to rote learning. Far from it. We should be exploring patterns. We should be teaching children about the patterns that exist in the addition facts and the subtraction facts. We should develop mental strategies. I talk a lot about this in lots and lots of my videos. We've got a whole resource called uh, Blitz It Maths radar books that incorporate dozens and dozens of strategies for students to become familiar with number facts. But then we go beyond that and say, now you need to learn them. You need to learn them off by heart. You need to memorize the number facts for efficiency, for just for to serve the purpose of learning further maths, more difficult maths, more important maths later on. And year three is the year when this used to happen and it's appropriate. I believe year threes can cope with this. They should be memorizing number facts. So here's my top recommendation for the year three curriculum. For goodness sake, curriculum writers, please put back in recall of number facts. We can do everything else you've got here. We can expand the language the way you have. I love all the things that you've done here, except for one thing, and that's you've removed recall of number facts. If you'd put that back in, everybody would be much better off. All the year three students and all the year three teachers, especially. Whew. All right, let's keep going. We're going to look at um, the next content description. This again has got the word recall crossed out. We used to have recall multiplication facts of 2, 3, 5, and 10 and related division facts. And then investigate conditions. This is all about odd and even numbers. In the new proposed curriculum, we have describe, follow, and create algorithms involving a sequence of steps and decisions to investigate numbers, including odd and even. So there they are again. And multiples of 2, 3, 5, and 10. Way Multiples of 2, 3, 5, and 10 using computational thinking to recognize, describe, and explain emerging patterns. This is rubbish. I, I, again, I like all the content. I like everything that's there. We, we're going to be describing, following, creating algorithms, looking at sequences of steps. We're investigating numbers, including odd and even, which I think is a very minor point. And the multiples of 2, 3, 5, and 10, fantastic. Use computational thinking, yes, please. To recognize, describe, and explain emerging patterns, yes, that's all good. Where's the recall of number facts? Why, oh, why, oh, why, curriculum writers, have you got rid of recall of multiplication facts? It wasn't that difficult, and it is that useful. Seriously, this is ridiculous. I'm sorry for getting emotional. I'm sorry if I've, I've upset anybody watching this video, but this is wrong. We should not get rid of recall of basic multiplication facts. And when we get to year four, I'll say it again, year four should be memorizing the rest of the multiplication facts up to nine. It's not that far. And all the rest of it is great. 
So we explore, we investigate, we find patterns, we develop strategies, we develop computational thinking, we find shortcuts for doing things, and we expect students to recall number facts. That's what it should say. It used to say that. For the last 10 to 12, what is it? It must be 12 years. Starting in 2010, students in year three have been required to recall all the addition and subtraction facts and the simpler multiplication facts and related division facts, the twos, threes, fives, and tens. So we've been doing it for 12 years. I don't see any problems with students knowing the number facts, having memorized the number facts, being able to recall the number facts. We can fiddle with the language, but those key processes should be in the curriculum. This is a mathematics curriculum. Beyond this, students are going to have to tackle bigger numbers and smaller numbers, digital fractions, common fractions, any number of mathematical topics, all of which will be easier to do if the students can memorize the number facts. This is so important and it's so frustrating to see somebody come in here and interfere with the content that was perfectly acceptable, perfectly useful. We could add the language. I love that. I've said it before. I love the extra language. But don't play around with number facts and say, oh, by the way, we think you shouldn't be learning to memorize number facts. Let me deal with this right now because this is probably the best place to put it. I think the reason for this is somebody with an academic background has decided, and it's not just one person, of course, it's a sort of a movement in the maths education field. Academics have said memorization of number facts is not necessary if students can explore the numbers, explore the patterns, find the patterns, describe the patterns, explain the patterns, and if they can do all of those things, they will have a far deeper, greater knowledge of numbers and how they're put together and how they relate to each other so that no one needs to memorize number facts. That all sounds great from a theoretical point standpoint, from an academic standpoint, maybe. I used to be an academic. I was a classroom teacher for 16 years. I went to university, did two postgrad de degrees, lectured at university level to pre-service teachers for another 16 years, and then went back to a little bit of classroom teaching. So I do know what I'm talking about from both perspectives, from the classroom pr practitioner perspective and also from the academic perspective. I know where the academics have come from. I understand the idea of, of developing deeper understanding of mathematics and really helping our students to improve the knowledge they have of, of the concepts in maths and so on. I think that's what's happened. Academics have got in here and said, no, no, no. Memorization of number facts is, I could ridicule it and call it old school, old fashioned and all that sort of thing. But it's not just that. It's that it's not necessary if the students develop a good knowledge of number. I would argue that's wrong, it's muddle-headed, and the students still need to memorize number facts, and that is part of knowing their number facts and understanding number and understanding the patterns that are found in number. I've said enough on this, I've said more than enough probably, but this is the biggest hurdle that I see in the proposed curriculum mathematics for year three.